Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 3.1, Problem 10. This is Section 3.1, Problem Number 10. It says Jordan is a student in a Math 119 class. There are four exams in this class for the semester. Jordan has taken three of the exams so far. He has a 92, a 76, and an 81 on the three exams that he's taken so far. He will be taking the fourth exam tomorrow. He's hoping for an average of 80 or more for the class. What is the minimum grade that he can get on the fourth exam in order to achieve his goal of getting an, an average of 80 or better for the semester? So this is a situation that a lot of students find themselves in. What do you need in that last exam for? A lot of people say e either at least an 80 or at least a 90. So, what you would do is add up your four scores, divide by four, and, and see what the average comes out to. The problem is you don't have all four scores yet. So, so far, Jordan has a 92, and we'll add that to a 76 that he has for the second exam, and we'll add that to an 81 that he has on the third exam, and we'll add that to X, an unknown amount, for the fourth exam. And there are going to be four exams all together for the semester, so we'll divide by four because we will have four data values once he takes that last exam. And we want that average to come out to 80 or better. So what we have is an equation with one unknown. And if you apply the proper algebra, you can get that one unknown by itself. You can solve for it. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to not have a fraction. Now, since we have an equation, I can do anything I want as long as I do the same thing on both sides. That's the rule. So on both sides, I'm going to multiply by what I need to cancel the denominator. So in this case, it would be a 4. So I'm going to do the left side of the equation times 4 and the right side of the equation times 4. As long as I do both sides, it's legal. So on the left side, 4 times some stuff over 4 will make the 4's cancel, leaving just what was in the top. So after I cancel the 4, I will have 92 plus 76 plus 81 plus the grade for exam 4 equals on the right, 80 times 4 would be 320 equals. So just by canceling that 4, my equation looks a lot better. Let's make it look even better still. Let's add these numbers together. There's no reason why we can't. So 92 and 76 is 168. 168 plus 81 is 249. So if I add these three values together, it'll be 249 plus exam 4. We'd have to add up to 320. And now, getting closer, you want to get the x by itself. So minus 249 on the left, minus 249 on the right, and that'll give the x by itself. So on the left, 249 minus 249 will just give me an x equals, and on the right side, 320 minus 249 would be positive 71. So that's the magic number he needs to shoot for. If Jordan gets a 71 or better on that fourth exam, he'll have his 80 average or better. So 71 or better is what he needs on the last exam to get his B.